All right. So the crown rump length is the best way to measure and date an early pregnancy. You should um, see an embryo when the gestational sac reaches 16 millimeters if you're scanning transvaginally or 25 millimeters transabdominally. Crown rump length is the most accurate method of dating a pregnancy sonographically, and it's within like three to five days as long as you measure it properly. The um, correct way to measure it is from the top of the head or the crown of the head to the bottom of the rump in a mid-sagittal plane, excluding the legs. And it grows at a rate of about a millimeter per day. Okay. So if we were to measure a crown rump length and we wanted to figure out how far along, and you might be asked to do this on your test, is this patient based on that? Um, this is the formula. So crown rump length in millimeters plus 42 gives you the gestational age and days, okay? You won't have a calculator for your test, but um, you'll have a little like whiteboard that you can write on. So we would take this crown rump length, which is 10 millimeters, okay? Pay attention to your units, know how to go between centimeters and millimeters. It's just um, one decimal point over to get to millimeters, okay? So 10 millimeters plus 42, that's 52, divided by seven, um, cause we want to know in weeks is about 7.4. So this is about seven weeks and four days, depending on, you know, what chart you're using. They're not going to give you this and say, what is the gestational age? Is it seven weeks and one day, seven weeks and three days, seven weeks and five days. It's not going to be that tricky. It'd be like five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, something like that. Okay. Um, with the high frequency transvaginal ultrasound and then just improve resolution of machines in general, we can see so much so early now. So um, there's some things that might look like abnormalities, but really they're just normal early um, developmental things. Okay. And we'll talk about those in a second here. Um, we added this because it came up on the content outline last year. Um, early first trimester anatomy that we can reliably see between 12 and 14 weeks include um, two hemispheres of the fetal brain, all four extremities, cord insertion, stomach. You might even be able to see um, chambers of the heart and outflow tracts if you're really good. Um, so, so much that we can see and a lot of like major defects that we can kind of rule out um, in that 12 to 14 week first trimester scan. So normal things that we see in the embryo that um, shouldn't be mistaken for abnormalities include the rhombencephalon here. So this cystic um, anechoic structure in the posterior part of the brain. Normal to see that between eight and 11 weeks. The physiologic midgut herniation here, um, normal to see that um, be until 12 weeks of gestation. Okay. So what happens is the, as the bowels are forming, they get really big, really fast. And so they actually have to go outside the embryo and they do this big twist and then they return into the abdominal cavity before that wall closes up. And again, that's all should be done by about 12 weeks um, of gestation. All right. So our always numbers. A gestational sac should always be seen when the beta HCG level reaches one to 2,000 milli international units per milliliter um, when scanning transvaginally. A yolk sac should be seen when the mean sac diameter is eight millimeters transvaginally or 20 millimeters scanning transabdominally. And then an embryo should be seen when the mean sac diameter reaches 16 millimeters transvaginally or 25 millimeters uh, transabdominal.